everyone welcome back to my channel so today I thought I'd do a luxury bag collection video I love talking about bags so this is like my idea of heaven um, I would really appreciate it if you can like and subscribe to my channel and if you want to find out what's in my collection keep on watching okay first up I've got this little Radley bag I believe that Radley's not quite designer it's more premium high-end correct me if I'm wrong um, but this was like my first very expensive ish bag and um, I got it for my 20th birthday from my parents um, I don't actually know the name of this bag um, because it was a gift and it normally I if I really want to design a bag I kind of like research loads into it but this is a really cute little um, crossbody bag well you can hold it top handle like this or you can carry it um, on your shoulder or across your body with the um, straps I still have the um, paper inside it when I'm not using it just to keep the shape of the bag but it's got basically three separate compartments one at the back and a zippy bit in the middle and then like the same like compartment as the back at the front um, and then obviously you've got kind of like a back pocket I really love this bag. I used it to death when I first got it because it was like, you know, my first expensive bag. Um, and it's a really nice size. There's also a pocket at the back as well for like random things that you can, you know, slip in. It fits my 500ml bottle, which, like I said in my um, unboxing video for my Dolce & Gabbana Sicily bag, it's really important for me to fit in a 500ml bottle because I'm always out and about and I I always get thirsty I hate single-use plastic so I'm always carrying um, a water bottle with me um, it's a really nice toby color if I bring you closer um, you can see the color and yeah I can't really say any bad things about this really it's a very soft leather um, and yeah I don't use it as much anymore because of the other bags I've got in my collection but I do use this if I'm wearing like a very very overly pink outfit like this one I feel like they go really well together um, so yeah that's the first bag my little Radley um, shoulder crossbody little bag so the next bag is from Michael Kors and it's this little crossbody bag here um, I got this after I graduated from uni five years ago now um, my auntie actually bought this for me um, as a like well done for graduating uni um, however it still has its tag on I graduated like four and a half years ago I've not had a chance to really wear it because it's pure gold um, and I know it's really really bad but yeah I've just not had a chance to wear it it's a really nice size um, great for like going out um, for dinner and maybe like going out in the evening to a bar but it's pure gold I don't know I've been keeping it because it, it might be good for Christmas um, but I've not I've not really reached for it as much as the other bags that I've got um, but it's a really nice quality bag it's got a pocket at the front um, and then whoop, it's got um, the compartments that look like that there's like a little pocket there a zip pocket at the back um, and then the main bag like that so it's a really good size for like going out in the evening um, you can actually fit quite a lot in here like your phone wallet keys a bit of makeup hand sanitizer that kind of thing but again it's the color that's kind of putting me off from you know wearing it all the time um, and I had been contemplating like selling it on my Depop but I feel like it's such a cute size bag I'm just waiting for the day I can properly wear it out if I bring you closer it's got the Michael Kors branding there and then obviously the pocket at the front it's a really nice quality bag but I've not really worn it I say Michael Kors is also kind of like the Radley one like premium high end um, high street kind of bag they are quite expensive though I think well this is bought in dollars because my auntie bought it with um because she's she lives in Singapore so it was 248 dollars 
but I think these are roughly like £200 um, here in England. But yeah, this is my next bag that I got in my collection. Um, yeah, designer bag is a really, really special bag for me. It was the first designer bag that I purchased myself with my own money. I didn't get it gifted from people in my family. Um, and it is from Mulberry. So this is my Mulberry Bayswater bag um, in pink. It's not the original Bayswater that they have, I think they have two styles. Their original one has um, a flap that goes across like over the top like that and then when you open it you have the entire bag like opened like this. Um, but mine is the kind of newer style where it's got the um, signature Mulberry lock thing there but it's just for like decoration. Um, the bag itself looks like this. Again, I've got the tissue inside, but I'll take the, all of that out um, just to show you. Here is the inside of the Mulberry bag. I think it looks a bit like grim. I might need to clean it out. I should have cleaned it up before the video. But I basically use this bag to absolute death um, compared to the other bags anyway. It still smells quite new, even though I got it three years ago now I think. So basically the story behind this is I really wanted this bag like so desperately. I think it was the colour that did it for me. I've got um, this Lush scarf um, tied onto it because I think um, one of my friends bought me a load of bath bombs for my birthday or something like that and I just tied the scarf onto my bag. I like to jazz up my bags with um, scarves. Um, but yeah this bag I had my eye on for ages and ages and ages before I bought it. Basically I bought this bag because I was finishing my first year as a teacher. I was an NQT and my first year of teaching was like crazy, like absolutely crazy. I feel like every NQT or newly qualified teacher will say this but my my first year was genuinely like nuts. Um, and I started off part time but I wanted to buy this bag after I finished my NQT year, so like my first year of um, teaching, like the induction year. Um, but because I was part time, my induction year would have ended not in the academic year, but like a couple of months after the academic year, because you have to do the right, like the hours that make up a whole year. Um, so I basically had this bag like saved and screenshotted. I'm on my phone and I basically just kept staring at it and want, like wanting it. My friend Sarah um, and I were in House of Fraser in Bristol and I saw it in there and I really really wanted it but it just cost so much money that I just couldn't justify like buying it until I finished something really really special. Um, and then one day I got a phone call from Sarah, um, I can remember this day so well, and she was like Becky, you need to go onto Mulberry and buy your bag because it's on sale. Um, and so I think this was originally like just over a thousand pounds and they were having a sale and I can't remember how much percentage off it was. It might have been 20%. Um, but yeah, I instantly bought it there and then with the savings that I had for my traveling. Um, and I'm so happy I got it because I love it so much. So like I said before, this is the Bayswater zipped one. So it's got a zip um, that closes there. And it's not the biggest size they do, I don't think, in this kind of style. They've got a slightly bigger one, but I went for this size. Um, having said that though, it looks really big, but it doesn't actually fit as much as you think. So whenever I do put in my 500ml bottle, like that's most of the space gone. Um, and so I carry my card holder, which I also got with the bag. So this card holder was originally a hundred pounds and I bought it for 80. So it must've been 20% off. And um, I basically bought both of these and it was still cheaper than the bag on itself alone had I bought it full price. So it matches perfectly my little um, wallet. So my little card holder looks like this with the Mulberry um, logo there and then the Mo Mulberry logo there and then this is the bag in it in all its glory without the scarf and you can carry it crossbody um, which I sometimes do or carry it top handle like this 
and yeah I absolutely love this bag it's really really special to me because it kind of just summed up um, my first year of teaching it was like a treat to myself after finishing my first academic year of teaching and yeah it was a really sentimental bag and I think I'll keep it forever and ever and ever so the next bag that came into my collection was a bag from Chloe and I got this in the first ever lockdown in 2020 um, as a sign of finishing my actual NQT year um, but also kind of like to say well done you managed to get through a, a pandemic um, and the bag that I got was the Chloe Drew bag. Now this bag I was very much influenced by Freddie um, on Freddie My Love. Um, she's literally like my goals and it is honestly the most prettiest bag in the entire world. Like it just is beautiful. However, I didn't actually get this um, brand, brand, brand new. I actually got this off of Depop. Um, so I was constantly kind of googling and looking at this bag, brand new, um, on websites like Farfetch, all of those kind of websites, and I just can't justify well over a thousand pounds for a tiny little um, crossbody bag. It is beautiful, like absolutely stunning, but I don't think I would have paid like the thousand, one thousand two hundred pounds for for it. Um, but yeah, I got it off of Depop, and the girl who I bought it off of had only used it a few times, um, and it came with all of the you know um, authentication. I think that's how you say it um cards so i knew that it was legit and she showed me um all, had here we are authenticity authenticity card um so i knew that it was like the real the real thing she showed um her receipt that she got it from i think she got it from salvages as like a proof that it's real um, and I got this for just under £600 on Depop and I have used it quite a few times now and it's still in amazing condition so I definitely think it was worth the £600 um, that I spent it on and it's just really really lovely like there's nothing more I can say about it it's, it's a really really cute bag it even goes really well with the outfit the top that I've got on now and yeah this is the next bag in my designer bag collection okay so the next designer bag in my collection is from Valentino so again there's another little story behind this I was with again my friend Sarah in House of Fraser in Bristol a separate occasion what we usually do is we walk around like premium luxury shops like um, House of Fraser um, and Harvey Nicks um, in Bristol and we just go around pretending that we're rich until we find things like this um, that are on sale and so this isn't the bag that I actually got with Sarah she has her own version of this bag and we were basically messing around in I think it was House of Fraser at the time a couple of years ago now and then we saw this um, style bag I think this is called the Davina bag. Um, I still have the tag because I haven't worn it yet. Um, but yeah, she. We basically saw this and it was on sale for like basically half price, I think, wasn't it? Um, and I was like to Sarah, you, you've got to get it. Like it's just perfect. And I think she was going on holiday to Mexico and I was like, that that's your holiday bag. And so she got it and I think she absolutely loves it. And then a couple of weeks ago I went out for dinner with Sarah um, in Bristol in my cousin's restaurant and she was carrying her her Valentino bag and I was staring at it and I was staring at it and staring at it and I was like do you know what I really really want that bag as well um, but the issue was like every time I went into House of Fraser or um, Harvey Nichols and they had this kind of bag on sale the hardware wasn't the colour that I wanted 
um, the hardware was always kind of like a gunmetal silver and I would rather have gold um, or the colour of the leather isn't like what I wanted. It would either be black with gunmetal like hardware or it'd be like grey um, again with gunmetal hardware. Like they have so many colours in this bag. So after seeing Sarah, I decided to Google the style um, and then I came across this one. So this one is, I think they called it white, but it's more of like an off-white, almost borderline grey. Um, but what made me really buy it was the colour of the hardware. So the colour of the hardware is kind of like a champagne, champagne gold. Um, and it's all the way across the zip as well. And I was like, well, I'm going to buy it. And then I used my Karma um, account to search for any codes and it came up with a 20% off discount code. So I was just like, well, I might as well just get it. Um, and I think I got this for £50 um, instead of, I think it was a, it was priced at 60 something pounds. Um, and I absolutely love it. It's a really, really ditzy bag. Um, but I thought it would be perfect for like going out for dinner and stuff because I do have I do have this little bag, it's not premium, it's actually from Jack Wills um, and I actually wore this with Sarah um, when I went out for dinner with her but I just feel like because it's navy and velvet it leans towards more autumn winter so I got this one to kind of tide me through the spring and the summer and I am yet to wear it but I absolutely love it. It fits my phone in just about um, and then it's got enough space for keys, um, lipstick and a mirror but that's all you really need when you go out for dinner so I thought that it was a perfect, perfect size. So this is my little Valentino Divina bag. It's got the Hand, uh, not the handle, the strap like that, and you can wear it across the body. Um, yeah, it's really cute. Forgot to mention, so if I open up the Valentino bag, I can't, it's quite a sturdy hard leather, so I can't really stretch it too much. But the inside looks like that. Um, it's got like a little um, pocket that I suppose you can fit like a mirror or some lipstick in and then a zip pocket at the back of the bag as well. It's quite, um, the little pockets are actually as quite spacious. Um, so you've got little bits in there and yeah. Okay, last but most certainly not least is my brand new Dolce Gabbana Sicily bag. <sighs> I've got nothing more to say about this. If you watched my unboxing, you would have seen my reaction to actually opening it um, from its box. And I got it off of Farfetch. Um, I'm pretty sure I explained in the video already that I've had my eye on this bag for absolutely ages. Um, again, it was influenced by Freddie um, on Freddie My Love. And yeah, I, I, I won't go through the story again. I'll link the video, the unboxing video down below because I did go on about the story quite a lot there. But I'm still yet to use it because... It was so expensive that I feel like I'm, I kind of want to baby it a little bit. Um, but I had, I didn't realise that it's got little, um, I don't know what these are called, studs to kind of stop the leather from getting ruined if you put it on the floor. Um, but this little bag, I am so in love with. I think, I think I love it just as much as I love my mulberry. Um, and it... Uh, I'd got no words. Um, it still smells like brand new leather. Um, yeah, I still have the tags on because, like I said, I'm too scared to to wear it. Um, but yeah, the compartments open like that, and it does fit my 500 ml bowl um, in it. And yeah, I absolutely love it. It comes with um, the crossbody strap that you can fit through these little holes there um but i will probably carry it top handle like because it's really really cute it also goes well with this top as well like most of my bags bar the michael kors one are all around like the same sort of color so it matches with kind of like the clothes that i like to wear um but yeah 
Okay, so that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble on about all of my designer bags. Let me know which one was your favourite and which one you would like in your collection. Um, and I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you soon. Bye! I'd say Michael Kors... sunglasses and what um comes in came into my collection